Hey guys, welcome back to Sonic 2020. Um, we just got finished with uh, White Jungle, and now we're going to be heading into the second stage here. Actually, I don't know what it's called, but we're starting off with a little cutscene here, and then we'll get straight into the action. Why is my controller acting up? There we go. Okay. Emerald signal is coming from the top of the tree. I can't fly up there. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. We need to find a way to get to the top of the tree. Okay, we came out of there. Do we drop down? Is that what's going on? Oh, it is. Water stage, huh? I guess we always gotta have one. Are these air bubbles that I can take? Am I just not hitting them? Death perception is really weird there. Or at least it feels weird. Which air bubbles can I take? Bounce pads down there. Okay, so we can take air bubbles just from like kind of anywhere, it looks like. Oh, cool. The game looks gorgeous. By the way, switch opens the cage with the lift spring. I haven't seen said cage. Go and max zoom out. Am I missing something? So even when you don't have boost, you can still get like a little mini boost. Okay, hold on. Ooh, okay. Okay. So interesting thing to note, Sonic cannot destroy, cannot kill enemies simply by touching them while spinning. going on here? Okay. So that's max height, that's why that wasn't going any higher. So there's a... Bring down there. This game just looks gorgeous. So we need to find a switch. Bounce attack. Ooh. I did not know we had access to bounce. Oh, shit. is janky. Okay, what if I just hold up? Okay. That worked. That was janky, janky, though. Okay. Somewhere on the lower level. 
Does that mean lower level? Just down. Oh, well, I guess we're committing to this. Ooh. Oh! No! Okay. So I don't know where. Oh, this is where that was in the first place. so cool how much freedom you have with movement. Like, how much freedom you can have with the movement. So I think that was the switch, right? So now, in theory... Yeah. Oh, boy. It's a tight platforming section. Oh, they're moving platforms? Oh, boy. It's gonna be interesting with, uh... I mean, movement in this game is smooth, but it's almost a little too smooth sometimes, you know? It, like, it feels a little slippery sometimes. Um, that could be the fault of the engine, honestly. The engine itself could just be really, uh... Really slippery. When it comes to... Uh, that was a dumb move on my part. That was fully on me. That's just all my bad there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Like right now, watch. Easy. Let's see. Uh, and then I guess we just bounce attack and we can get up here? Yeah. Now, it looks like we need to get over to this light dash trail anyways. So, uh... We're gonna try to do that the safest way that we possibly can. Which is definitely not jumping out here like that. Which was stupid. <laughs> oh, boy. I did actually speedrun Sonic Hunter 2 for a while, so... I kind of like the feel of this game. Because it reminds me a lot of SA2. Um, obviously, I think that's kind of what he was going for when he made this. When Bolt made this. I think he was kind of going for a bit of like a spiritual successor kind of deal. Not exactly, but... Oh, that was deceptive as hell. Oh, shit. I like that you can make it up there even if you don't manage to hit the second one, but again, I feel like it should be locking you into um, a very specific trail and forcing specific movement. That... So that was the problem that I was mentioning earlier again, where it didn't quite... It didn't send me at the trajectory that it feels like it should have, if that makes sense. Like, it should always launch you out farther, if that makes sense. Because the, the goal of this pad, right, is to launch you to these blue squares. So, at all times, it should always put you into this flight state and move you out there. But for some reason, that time it put me short, even though I homing attacked the center of it. So that felt um, kind of unfair, the death. And usually I'm pretty good about that stuff. Like, I'll call a death fair if it's like, you know, if it, if it feels like it was my mistake, then sure. Uh, but I've had a few deaths so far that have been like, eh, that wasn't really me. <laughs> So we can't light dash those. Not from there, at least. We can probably light dash them from the blue platform that's coming back now. Uh, I think. Where is it? There it is. Oh, okay. Sonic uh, ended up light dashing backwards. Interesting. Okay, this worked fine again. 
These platforms are kind of hard to see. Uh, maybe giving them a bit more of a defined outline would be good for depth perception. But that that's, that's also just a personal thing. I just think it would be better to have slightly better depth perception on these. Um, but like I said, that's a that's a player thing. That's not a developer thing whatsoever. Well, that was clutch. I should have died. Or should have at least fallen. Ooh. Yeah? Yeah, you're right, Sonic. You did almost fall. And whose fault was that? It was mine. Because I got greedy for speed. Okay. So right here, I don't know if you can actually touch those. Oh, this is weird. Because of depth perception. I do like the falling animation that Sonic gets, though. Where you can... I don't have a jump. Okay, so now I know those don't refresh double jumps. Oh my god. Sonic? Oh shit, I lost it. Yeah. Ugh. Purely my fault there. I might have in this video though. I'll have to figure I'll have to see when I do editing. Oh boy. So that was interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna cut and just get ahead here. To where I'm not put. Is this replicable? It is. Okay, so that's uh, an interesting thing you can do. <laughs> Alright. We made it. Okay, so now let's see about this. Oh boy, we made it. Okay. We're good. I'm so stupid and so greedy. <laughs> it's interesting that you can get stuck on this tree like that. Trying to see something. Oh wait, there's potential with this. Oh, okay. So now this interests me, like, I want to look into sequence breaks in this game. Like, potentially just game-breaking things. That could be done, you know? I don't I shouldn't do it as part of this video though. I'm gonna do that on my own time, I think. To be accessible. Oh my god, I saved that. <laughs> oh shit, that was boost. Okay. Let's not mess up this time. Let's just take it nice and slow. Don't be greedy. For anything stupid. Just take it good and slow. Like you should. Go to this one like you should. 
Wait, was I supposed to go to that one? Wait, that's the one I'm supposed to be on. Isn't it? Yeah, and this gets me to there? Or what? How does this work? Do I go to this ring? Oh yeah, okay. That got me on. I cannot believe I saved that one without any boost at all. <laughs> wow. Okay, progress. Finally. We're finally making actual progress. Okay, so now I think we go to this. Right? That has to be the solution. Okay. No, wait, that's the switch. But it sent me in this direction. What? Or is that just a way to get back up? Yeah, that's just a way to get back up. If he were to fall. So I could get out to here. Okay. Oh. Eggman things. Okay, so rainbow ring out here. Yes. I like the difference in platforming. Uh, I like that this is not really like a race through it kind of stage, it's actual platforming. Uh, even though Sonic games are about speed, I like this. Uh, this light dash just doesn't work. <laughs> that light dash trail just didn't work. At all. Whatsoever. Okay, so this is... What is this? Okay, I get booted back up. So, let's check this out then. Oh my god! Okay, can we run- oh my- what the heck? Controls are weird on that th oh no. It's faster to just take a death. Honestly. Because I have a checkpoint up here, at least. Okay, so that is... Uh... Okay. What happens if I just go this way? What does this get me to? Ten rings. Oh, boy. Ten rings and potential for a sequence break? Oh, no, another ten ring. Oh, another path. Where am I? I don't know where in the stage I am, but I guess that's like some of the magic in Sonic games is like, there's always multiple routes and like, not knowing where you are is nice sometimes. No, oh, end of the stage. Alright, dope. So, uh, yeah, interesting stage. Um, again, same couple of complaints from the first stage, pretty much. Um, and those blue platforms having a little bit more of an outline to them. It, it could just be a me thing, but it might be nice. Okay, and with that, that is stage two, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the video there, but I will be right back for stage three. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like if you liked it, comment it if you want to say anything about it. Peace out, guys.